The Indo-European hypothesis, or also known as the Kurgan hypothesis, is the hypothesis suggesting that the peoples in a wide geography extending from India to Ireland today share common linguistic ancestors, that is, the Proto-Indo-European people. According to the hypothesis, the homeland of this ancient people is the Pontic Caspian steppes. Although recent claims say that Indo-Europeans came from Anatolia before these steppes, we will focus on the part that is more accepted and directly propagated. In both cases, a very large group of Proto-Indo-Europeans existed in the Pontic Caspian steppes anyway. Later on, the Indo-Europeans who formed the Amnaya culture in the region around 3000 BC invaded different parts of the earth starting from this region for various reasons, established new cultural regions, got assimilated or assimilated other societies. As a result, their languages and cultures differentiated in the places they went and created new languages and cultures. Today, societies speaking languages such as English, German, Spanish, Greek, Russian, Hindi and Persian are partially or directly descendants of communities that migrated from that region and all of these languages are descendants of the Proto-Indo-European language. <laughs> Extinct languages with no speakers left, such as Anatolian languages and Toharian, are also descendants of the Proto-Indo-European language. Since Yamnaya people assimilated different societies in the regions they went to, people who speak these languages have Yamnaya ancestry in varying proportions. Or, as happened in Anatolia, the Indo-European communities that mixed with the Turkic people started to speak different languages, although they were their descendants. Therefore, today, the phenotypes of people descended from the Indo-European ancestors vary widely from region to region.